The personalization tags are really amazing for two specific reasons. One, you can globally modify text by just changing the, uh, the information, the value of a specific property, and it will replace all the places. And you can personalize the whole uh, page with, uh, with the user's information. So let's, uh, let's see the first one, where you can change different, on uh, different places, the uh, information. So we can just click on create a new personalization tag. Let's call it email, for example. And on all the places that we use this, uh, this value, you actually uh, replace it on the places on our, our pages, on website, phone, whatever it is. And let's say that it is uh, contact at domain.com. So whenever we add this, uh, this value, this personalization tag, it will be replaced by this email. So we don't have to change it on multiple places. Uh, if we want to change it, we'll just do it simultaneously on all the different uh, places. So we can just click on save. And here, for example, where we have in the header our email, we can just replace it with this one. That's it. So in the footer, for example, as well, you want to add our email here instead of having to change it all the time or uh, etc. So we can just have it like this. You can also mark the text for the email and we can click on the link. We can select the email, for example, and add it as an email as well. So that will actually replace and add the information for this uh, value here so that when somebody clicks, we'll actually start emailing right away to that specific email. So you can click on save and uh, let's preview. Now it will look again uh, like this inside the builder, but when you preview it, it will show the contact at domain.com. And at the footer again, it will be replaced with contact at domain.com. And when you click, it will be a link to email. So this way you can create different personalization tags for different purposes. So you can edit information globally, basically, in that specific website or a funnel, whatever you are uh, building. So you can do and add as many as you want. And of course you can edit the tag itself. So you can also very much personalize, personalize your pages very easily. And you can do that with the members uh, values. So the members is basically if you have a membership area on your website or a funnel where somebody creates an account, maybe they purchased something or just uh, sign up for whatever reason for some content that they want to see. So you can use this, for example, to showcase the name. So you can personalize the page when they visit it, if they're logged in, of course, to show their first name. So let me show you how it works. So we can go here now. And let's say this is a landing page that we want to personalize for our member visitors. And we can say, hey, uh, something, welcome back. And click on Save Changes. Uh, for the sake of the example, we already created an account uh, just, uh, the, just to showcase it. And if you preview now, you see that it will show John because we created an account as John. So whatever the name of the user is, actually it will change here as well. So now uh, you can see that we have a profile here. So it comes with the name John Doe, the email, uh, information about the, the profile. So if we change it to, let's say, Sarah, uh, you can click on Save Changes again. And if we go to the homepage, Again, it changes it to Sara because our name is, is Sara as a member. So this way you can easily personalize the, the experience for your visitors. Uh, we use it here as well. In other places you can, you can add it to yeah, very much personalize uh, their experience. You can also do it with uh, the parameter as well. So if you're emailing somebody or just sending them you know, some kind of a, a link, you can include uh, in the URL the name of the user. So for example, first name is John. So whenever you use this one, the name, for example, the first name if you use, obviously it will add it param dot, uh, first name, and it will take the information from the URL, whatever it is, and it will be replaced into the page as well. So as you can see here, associate via first name. So this way, instead of having the information uh, stored in the website itself, you can just pull that information from the URL uh, and display it. So the name will take the name if you have such parameters. So you can have different parameters, email, like uh, company name or, or whatever it is, and display it this way again 
into the page so this is the power of the personalization again for globally modifying uh, texts or for uh, personalizing the pages with the members profiles uh, properties or the URL parameters by uh, taking the information from the URL this is it I hope that you enjoyed it it's, uh, it's very fun and especially for doing campaigns it's really really powerful to your email lists so if you have any questions as you know just let us know